Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another clear morning out here. 74 degrees. A group of pelicans flying by out here in front of me. You can see them out there just above the water. Somebody was texting me here already this morning. Feels like the wind's coming out of the south today. I do not, I do not smell that horrific odor of the red tide. Not smelling it out here this morning. Collier County is going to test the water at all of their beaches. They don't. Collier doesn't test the water here. The state tests it. But we can get a pretty good idea. They test Barefoot Beach just to the north of us and Vanderbilt to the south. Noah does the testing for the state park. I'm not smelling anything. The red tide was absolutely horrible down at the Naples Pier yesterday. Right down, it's just around the entrance to the pier by the stairs that go to the beach is where the red tide was the worst. Oh, people out there on the pier coughing. I couldn't believe there were people actually out there on the pier. It was terrible. As you got further out on the pier, the smell wasn't so bad. It was just a shame. As soon as that sun comes up, we'll get a good look at the water here. The beach is pretty stripped of shells there. If there's any dolphins out there this morning, it's going to be pretty hard to see them. Sorry about that. Overexposed there. If there's any dolphins out there, it's going to be tough spotting them with these waves. They're not going to come into shore, close to shore. But boy, we have had some great dolphin sightings here. Really foggy inland. East of Collier Boulevard. Up in northern Collier. Oh my lord. You could barely see a hundred yards in front of you. The fog was so thick. I was out heading out Vanderbilt Drive to Old Florida Golf Course this morning. The fog was so thick you could cut it with a knife. <laughs>
much in the way of shells. There's a few shells up way up high on the beach. Pretty clean here. Mother Nature did some house cleaning the other day when the high tide came up with all these waves. They just swept the beach clean with shells. The tide's still coming in here this morning. Some pretty nice little waves out here. They hit that sandbar that we walk out on at low tide. And roll across it. Oh, that water is definitely cooling off here. I don't know what the official water temperature is, but it is dropping. To kill the red algae bloom, the red tide, the water needs to drop below 60 degrees. That's not gonna happen for quite a while, if it happens. clouds out here this morning. I don't see any of our osprey friends up in the trees here. We did we did see a couple ospreys yesterday. That was a good thing. I was getting worried about them. We hadn't seen any for a few days. They were out here yesterday. Maybe a little later, my friend Gary, my friend Gary comes out and he sits over here at the end of this boardwalk and he spends all morning out here. I'll see if he saw, if he saw any dolphins yesterday afternoon after I left. Like I said, it's going to be pretty hard to see him out there just because of all these waves, but that doesn't mean they won't come by here. They will be farther out though, that's for sure. They won't be coming up along the beach. And there's one little cockle shell down here. A little cockle. like a bigger cockle up here. A little bigger cockle. Most of these, these are shells that have been sitting up on the beach up at the high tide line and they're just getting pulled back down as the tides come up, the waves pull them back down, back towards the water. Probably not going to find much of anything on the beach today, but you never know. You just never know. But it's really... Very few shells right now. Seeing some little, little piles like this here. Just some little, little scatterings. There could be something in there, you never know. Just get down and take your time looking there. 
see some little conch shells down there. But the pickings are thin this morning, that's for sure. Shells are kind of strewn along the beach from up here to down here, but they're very, very thin. Not a big concentration of shells this morning. At least not yet. You never know. A few days ago, we had piles and piles of shells along the beach here. And I was hoping that these waves would just slowly chip away at them and spread them out along the beach. But instead, <laughs> they just came up almost overnight and washed them away. But you still can come out and find some fighting conks. Those are always find a fighting conch or two. Good morning. Usually find cockles on the beach. Some cockles and fighting conchs. They're pretty prevalent. There's a little fighting conch down here. There's a couple of them. This one's kind of fading out here. A little fighting conch. It's little crosshatch pattern on it. That's kind of nice looking. Nice little olive shell down here. Nice little olive. Got some really nice colors on it. I don't know why. Every time I pick up an olive, it's usually got the shell jammed inside of it. That's got some nice colors, that olive shell. There's a piece of a little pen shell. It's missing the bottom of it. A little pen shell. Just missing the bottom. These things bury themselves in the sand like this. You can see this was buried up to about here. You see where the barnacles are growing? They, that much of the shell would be buried and just that part sticks up. Very sharp too, you wouldn't want to step on that. I've never seen these up close on the beach. I think they're further out in deeper water. But I certainly wouldn't want to step on one, that's for darn sure. a little baby fighting conch shell. That's a nice one. It's got some interesting colors on it. Little baby Florida fighting conch. Where's everybody at work already? Somebody had made a sea turtle, a sand sculpture sea turtle. All that's left is the back end of it there. There's 
something down here by the water. You know, somebody commented the other day, boy, the water looks really sick. It's not that beautiful teal color that it usually is. Well, <laughs> the Gulf is never a beautiful teal color. The Gulf is emerald green. Some people, I think, make comments just to, it's like people talking just to hear themselves talk. They make comments just so people, to try and make people think they're smart. But they a lot of times make some really stupid comments here. Cracks me up sometimes. There's a big difference between the east and west coast of Florida, between the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. We are definitely having some problems with the water right now in the Gulf of Mexico. No doubt about that, sadly. It really seems like there's more than the red tide issue going on out here. It's just been going on too long. There is. The red, the red algae, is it changing? Is it evolving? That's very possible. I don't smell it out here. This, right now, this morning. Again, they're going to, Collier's going to test their beaches today. Post the results tomorrow. Collier does testing every three days. As you saw from my post yesterday, it was terrible terrible down at the Naples Pier. I could not even breathe down there. It was so bad. But yet the beaches were full. It was amazing. There are signs posted down there. They put a sign up by the every day. They post the conditions of the red tide of the water by the Naples Pier. Only in English, though. We know we have a lot of visitors from foreign countries. And there's a few shells here. They've been here for a while, but waves have sifted through them here and maybe revealed something that we've missed over the past week. There's a top of a shark eye. I thought I had missed one. I thought I was going to find one here on the beach this morning, but no, it's just the top. Top of a moon shell or shark eye. doesn't mean we won't find anything interesting. Just be optimistic. Another beautiful little scallop. Piece of a tulip shell there. Scallop and a broken tulip. These scallops, you can find these scallops and scallop shells and different colors here. I just saw one. Where'd it go? I was gonna pick one up here. This one was black. The one on the left, it's starting to fade. As you can see, like different sizes and colors. Sometimes some really big, beautiful ones if you're lucky the scallop shells. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I might be smelling a little of the red tide up here. It would not be a surprise. We had some pretty constant and strong winds yesterday blowing in from the Gulf. And it would not surprise me if there's some low concentrations of red tide here off the beach up there in North Naples. I don't know why they can't test every day down here. I know it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of work. They probably only have a couple people doing it, but it seems that it's a really important thing here is knowing the quality of our water here. It's such a big part of tourism. You would think they would make it a priority. I mean, I drive by all the county road projects and I see 10 guys standing around leaning on shovels. Maybe they could teach them how to take samples of the water. Because they're certainly not doing anything when they're working on the roads. Morning. Huh? Uh, probably not. I, because he's not doing what the doctor says, so it's healing slower than it should be. He won't stay off his leg, so it's slowing the process down. But we're going to, I don't know, there may be a 30% chance. <laughs> it would be great if he could. Yep, it would be nice if he could come out for his birthday. Talking about Roy. Hoping he can make it out here for his birthday, but he's not heeding his nurses and doctor's orders on staying off that leg. So it's not healing as fast as it should. Well, you can see how these waves have chipped away at the beach up here. See this little, er some erosion. We've had a little more erosion up here. Hoping to find some nice little shells still, being optimistic here. Ugh. There are still some, some shells out here. The waves haven't washed off the beach yet, but they're few and far between, that's for sure. There's a little pile of them. Nothing's, nothing's jumping out at me. Hmm. I can still find some conks. You can usually find some fighting conks on the beach. That's one thing you can usually depend on. Although, there's been times where I've been out here and not seen any. There's been times where I've been out on the beach and seen thousands of these fighting conch shells on the beach. These little Florida fighting conchs. Beautiful little shells. Here we can see the water here. And it definitely, definitely has more of a look, a brown color than a green color. Definitely has that brownish tint. Yesterday it was a dark green. Today, definitely more brown than green. However, I'm 
I'm not getting that intoxicating smell of the red tie. It's just... But we know the red tide is out there. It's offshore. It was very bad to the south of us. Seagate, down by Seagate Beach, they had the worst concentrations of it, according to the latest reports, the last reports. But again, they only take those measurements every three days, three or four days, so. The last sampling was on the 29th. So there's no telling what's going on out here now. The latency is horrible. Oh, there's a piece of a broken pear weld. Maybe somebody should start a private company to test the water here and charge the county to do it. Piece of a lightning well. It's not a good example here, but there's two broken shells, a pear whelk and a lightning whelk. The pear whelk's on the right. You can see it's got the opening on the opposite side of the lightning whelk on the left. That's how you tell the two right away. The pear whelk's a lot smoother. The pear whelk again on the right. These are just some broken ones that I picked up here. Still a lot of little shells up here. Still some shells, looking for somebody to come up here and sift through them all. I'm sure you'll find something here. Especially if you're new to shelling and just starting your collection, there's lots of neat little things down here. We kind of look for the more flamboyant shells how's that when we're out walking the big the bigger whelks and moon shells and murex shells crown conchs horse conchs even horse conch shells see our friends are up there on their morning shark tooth hunt a lot of people come out here and look only for shark's teeth. They just look for shark's teeth on the beach. And they do find them here. Not as many as they find up to the north of us. stuff in here. Just need to take the time to dig through all these shells. Wow. So many. Really neat looking. Pretty shells. Look at this. Look at the colors. It's a little scallop. Sandpipers running around here in front of me. No shortage, though, of fighting conch shells. I've seen plenty of those out here. Everybody seems to pick one of those up and take it home with them. shell. Another little scallop. Shoot in the corner. Good morning guys. Seeing some 
broken sand dollars, pieces of sand dollars, and a little rough. Those that get washed up on the beach are usually broken now. There's a little cockle shell. A little cockle. Tons of stuff down here. Old, old lightning whelk shell. Lots of slipper shells down here. Lots and lots of slippers. There's a nice little slipper shell. So many great little shells out here. If you're just getting into shelling. There's plenty of neat stuff out here to get you started. Yeah, it's kind of fun when you don't know what things are. You just pick them up and go home and start researching. Figure out what you've got. If it looks interesting, pick it up. This piece of an, a moon shell. Good morning. Another piece of a little shark eye shell. Boy, earlier or later last week, we found lots and lots of these moon shells, whole moon shells, not broken ones like this. These and lace murex shells. I found pocketfuls of them. Shell gods were good last week. They were good to us. And they need to be good to us. The Gulf of Mexico has been mean to us lately. Killing our sea life, our dolphins. I do think I'm getting a little whiff of the red tide here. It doesn't smell like it's right on shore here. The wind's kind of coming from the southwest. You can see it's really kicking up the water. You can see the spray in the air. Look how heavy the spray is off the gulf this morning. So it's very easy, easy that that red tide could be airborne there in that mist coming in off the gulf. You can hear that wind blowing. Again, no problem finding these fighting conks on the beach. Problem is finding live ones. Finding live ones now. All we're finding are the empty shells. 
would sure like to see some live fighting punks for a change. That red tide is taking its toll on everything. We used to find sea stars, hundreds and hundreds. We'd see them during our morning walks out on the sandbars. Haven't seen any of those since the summer. Heartbreaking. Seems that Mother Nature can be pretty cruel, and I'm sure we're adding to the problem. A worm rock down here. See some of the little worm tubes in there. Worm rock. Pretty common sight here on the beach at Del Nor Wiggins. Zoom in up here to the north. You can see that spray in the air, the mist. Oh, come on, focus there, camera. A little fog, but mostly sea spray. Very possible that that wind coming in from the southwest is picking up that red algae bloom. And bringing it in closer to us. I got a couple little whiffs of it. I got a couple whiffs of the red tide. My eyes aren't burning. See what happens as the day progresses here. You want to keep up to date with the red tide situation, check NOAA, N O A A, NOAA red tide forecast. Just Google it, NOAA, N O A A red tide forecast. And also Collier County red tide forecast, Lee County red tide forecast. constantly changing. They could come out and sample the water this morning and by tonight it's a whole different animal. And that's the problem with this red tide. You really, they try to predict it but when all is said and done it's unpredictable. They try to forecast our meteorologists with the tides and the winds and everything, but sadly, you just never know. I mean, the one thing I am not seeing are dead fish out here on the beach. No dead marine life, thank God. Last week, I that was so sad seeing that dead dolphin washed up on our beach here. So many of them washed up on the beaches in Southwest Florida. But seeing one right here on our beach at Del Norte Wiggins, that really brought it home. I don't want to ever have to see that again.
gonna get windy when I turn around and start walking back. We've had a lot of erosion right up there in area four. Look at this. Look how much beach has been washed away up here in area four just over the past several days. That is a steep embankment here now. This used to just taper off into the water. Now it's a pretty steep embankment. pile of shells down there but not seeing anything not seeing anything in it There's a good look at the water. You can judge for yourself. The waves definitely haven't churned up. But it just looks a little on the brown side here. Not quite as green as it was a couple days ago. I would definitely say we're experiencing a little bit of the symptoms of red tide up here. I'm not hacking and coughing. Very mild right now, if any. It's definitely offshore though, definitely offshore.
I love seeing everybody introducing themselves, saying good morning here. That's what these beach walks are all about, bringing people together on social media. Very quiet out here today. Not a lot of people out on the beach this morning. Beautiful clear blue sky though. Look at that sky. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. water was as clear as the sky. little sandpipers up just up here ahead of me on the beach. Can you see them there? I've gotten a couple whiffs, a couple whiffs of the red tide. So it is, I don't think it's right here on shore, but it's not far offshore. It's definitely bad down to the south of us. We're going to be testing the water. Collier County is going to be testing the water today. They'll share the results tomorrow. I enjoy doing it. I like keeping you informed. 
I love the conversations going on. I love seeing people coming together here, meeting new friends, making new friends on social media. Every once in a while, somebody will send a little token of appreciation, a little donation or contribution to me. I really appreciate that. You can always find my PayPal account information in the description of these posts. Thank you to those that have sent something. You're feeling generous. If you enjoy these beach walks and want to send something, thanks. Goes towards paying the old phone bill here. Quite a breeze coming in off the Gulf again this morning. Coming, coming in from, from the southwest. Darn it. That's what brings this darn red tide in, these strong winds coming in off the Gulf. We need strong offshore winds to blow the red tide away. Gorgeous clear sky though today. Like I said earlier, I wish wish the water was as clear as the sky today. The shadows of the pine trees stretching out over the beach. Hey, Bill. Look who's back. Look who's back. I'm back, buddy. Our shark tooth buddy, Bill. I'm back. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. When did, when did you get back? Uh, a couple days ago. Uh, nice. Yeah. We're going to see Roy this afternoon. Oh, Spoke boy. To him yesterday. Yeah, I'm sure he's excited to see you. Oh, you got that big time. Well, he was going we nuts. Gotta, we got to stay on top of him. Oh, we're going to stay on top Tell of him. Tell him to listen to his nurse and doctor. He's got to keep drinking. That's the reason drinking and he's got to take it easy on that leg he won't well you know mr Roy. i mean he's gonna mr stubborn you know yeah. he's gonna lose his home health care i know that i'm gonna talk I mean, to him when i get there we're going there at now it's just because he can walk that doesn't mean he's he's good to go he is definitely not good to go <laughs> and that's what his nurse keeps telling him it's I like know. He's you've got to keep look. that leg up and he's a stubborn guy yeah he's 93. 93, yeah. but what we're going to do is party us still on the beach. <laughs> we'll wrap his leg up. We'll get him down here somehow. We'll oh, that plastic business I is know. killing his leg. I know that. He tried that one day, and it was horrible I know, what no, he no, did. No, no, no. I'm going to talk to his nurse and see if there's uh, something that he can just slide on for the one day when he comes down here. She comes She comes on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I know that. Yep, so. We're going to work it out. All right. Nice Good luck on the sharks deep there. I don't know about today. You got some competition out here. No problem, never worry. <laughs> Not too bad. The red, don't smell the red tide. No, it's okay. I spoke to him on the way in. He said yeah. it's fine. Water. They're gonna open. test again today. Yeah, it's okay. We're fine. Good seeing you. All buddy. right, Bill. Welcome back. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay? You too. <laughs> that was great. Bill is back. 
back down from Canada, back to comb the beach for shark's teeth. Bill helps out a lot with taking care of Roy when he's down here. He's a godsend. There are several great people that are helping keep an eye on Roy. Thank you to all of them. Water is definitely not as pretty as it should be out there today. Red tide definitely lurking offshore. It might not be right here at the beach, but it's not too far away out there in the Gulf. praying that these winds subside or, and cha or change direction. It would be better if they just change direction and start blowing offshore. Southwest, I'm sorry, Southwest. Last night they said it was going to come out of the Southeast, and that would have been better. That would have been blowing offshore. There's a piece of a big old lightning welt. Piece of one. What's left of a big lightning welt? Wouldn't it be fun to find something like that? Wow.
morning, how you doing? Good, it's working great. Getting tossed around out here in the wind though. <laughs> Good. That every every little bit helps when I tell people. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. It made it. Without it, I'd be lost. Yeah, I can see. I don't even know how that works. Yeah. It. Um, see, I have it set to where I can tilt the camera, and it follows me as I pan. You can you can also set it to where it just stays straight ahead. How long are you down for? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Well, I hope it clears up here for you. I will. Yeah. Still not bad. No. It beats the snow. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Thank you. Another follower on the beach. I love meeting our friends. They watch us. I was looking forward to seeing my friend Gary. I don't see him up there this morning. I was hoping to talk to him, see if he saw any dolphins yesterday late morning while he was out here. It's too rough to see them. They're going to be out in the deeper water. They won't be right along the shore. Boy, we have had some great encounters with dolphins right along the beach. Really nice dolphin encounters here. And I hope our dolphins are still out there. We've been losing some, sadly, because of the red tide. Unfortunately, we've had one wash up on the beach here. That was a terrible, terrible sight. A horrible sight seeing that dead dolphin on our beach. You need to look at that image. Remind yourself of how bad things really are out in the Gulf. Just because it might be nice here along our beach, that doesn't mean it's nice everywhere. Anything? Oh no! Beautiful. Good morning, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, <coughs> I am definitely <coughs> smelling something right here. Definitely. It doesn't burn my eyes like the red tide when I'm smelling it's kind of got a funky smell not that horrible stench of the red tide but something not good there is a lot a lot of spray in the air, a lot of sea spray coming in off the Gulf that could easily be carrying some of that red algae bloom in it. See if you can see it. See how thick it is down there when I zoom in? You can barely see the condos down there. Same way to the north. And right here where I'm standing. If I was further down the beach, it would look like that if I zoomed in here. I'm sure there's some bad stuff in the air right now. We're gonna test the water today. 
Collier County is. They won't, I don't know when they're going to test here at the park. I think maybe tomorrow. Just hoping for the best. That's all we can do. Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Like a hurricane. Now back to where we started this morning. Thanks for watching everybody. I do want to remind you, I don't get paid to come out and do this. I do put a lot of effort and time into bringing you these reports and sharing things on Facebook with you. If you enjoy what you see and you want to make a little donation or contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account in the description of this post. Every little bit helps. Thank you to everyone that has sent some. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. When you find something you like, please hit the like and share button. Make sure you like and follow Southwest Florida Television. While you're on Facebook, be sure to go to Nonstop Naples. Nonstop Naples. Nonstop Naples. Like that page. We're going to be doing some live feeds from there. We're going to be going to some different beaches with nonstop Naples. Also, some area landmarks. I'm going to just be doing some little impromptu live feeds, so be sure to like nonstop Naples Facebook page. We'll have a wonderful Monday morning. Ever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.